Well, hey, what's up? Today we've got a quick video on the best export settings for your EOS R. Let's get into it. My name is Tony and I'm a filmmaker and photographer in the St. Louis area. Today we are talking about the best export settings for the Canon EOS R. Now, this is kind of a long story, but the reason I started looking into export settings is because uh, didn't matter what camera I had with the 80D, the 5D Mark IV, the C100. Whenever I posted videos on YouTube, I just felt like I wasn't getting the same kind of quality that other creators were getting. And so I started this little journey of figuring out what are the best settings, watching other people's videos like, like Maddie and uh, Marcus Brownlee when he posted the video of the thousand time upload, all of those videos that are really good. And I just started like researching how do I get the best quality videos. So uh, let's jump into my computer and I will share with you some of the results that I got. The biggest thing is that YouTube actually gives you suggestions and uh, I kind of took those suggestions on how to get the best export and then kind of manipulated it so that we can get a little bit better uh, with the high bit rate that Canon cameras have. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so we're in the computer in Premiere. Uh, I think that most of these things will work for no matter what editing system you're using, you just have to apply the principles. So if you're using Final Cut or whatever, uh, you can do these same things. So made up a quick little sequence here. This is gonna go at the end of the video uh, just so we have a project to work with. I'll show you what I used to do and then uh, basically the way that I have kind of adapted it to get better quality. If you hit Command M, it pops up your export window. And right away you have your H.264 with matching the source which is a high bit rate. So uh, one thing you can do is you can actually go in this preset and there's a YouTube 1080 Full HD. And that's what I used to always record at. But I just realized the quality wasn't that great. So what I started to do is do some research and I found that YouTube actually posts all the suggested settings that they need um, for the optimal quality and so I'll just open that up real quick right here. So this is uh, on YouTube through Google. I will put this in the description below and so you can just look at it. And so it says the container, which is basically just a package, the way that you encode it is MP4, um, which is what we're gonna export out. And then audio is AACLC, which basically you just leave your audio on. You don't really need to mess with it, but you can get to your settings right here, AAC. Um, all of that pretty much is, is just standard the way that Premiere sets it up. So that's good to go. Then your video codec, which is the package, um, that's H.264 up here. If you want super, super high quality but a big file, um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go to QuickTime and then I will go to ProRes 422 and that will give you the biggest file. But if you're uploading to YouTube, you do not need to do that. You need to keep it on H.264 like it says. Um, and then we'll go back into the settings. So we've got on an H.264. Next thing is your frame rate. Uh, I typically create all of my sequences in 24 frames per second. I think it looks the most cinematic. It looks really nice. Uh, depending on what you're doing, you can use a different frame rate, but you just wanna make sure that it matches your, your video, your sequence, all of that kind of stuff. Now here's where it gets important, the bit rate. Canon cameras have incredibly high bit rate, including even the 1080. It's just really nice, good, crisp, uh, lots of, of data in those. So there's two types that it talks about for bit rates. There's the SDR and the HDR. So we need to be looking at the SDR, which is uh, just regular standard dynamic range. It says for 1080, it shows that the, max, the bit rate um, kind of peaks out at eight megabits per second, which is very low. Um, so after looking through what other people are doing, I decided even though I shoot everything in 1080, my sequences in 1080, I will just render it out in 4K because the bitrate gets up to 45 megabits, which is five times bigger dynamics in there. And so even with upscaling to 4K and uh, you get all that extra bit depth, which the Canon footage can handle. Like I'm not sure about other, uh, I know with Sony, their, their um, 
their bit rate is just so much smaller. I just don't know how it would work. But I've noticed with all of my Canon footage, it looks really good. So, uh, so I decided to switch to using 4K 45 megabits. That's the number that we're trying to, to hit. Um, and I can show you how to set that up. And then the other, other one is the aspect ratio, which is 16 by nine, which doesn't really change. Okay, so how do we get this 45 megabits? So now let's go back in here and I will show you how to get that. So we leave this at H264. Now, if we go to here, um, it's matching it. Let's just grab one of these 4K. Let's do uh, high quality 4K right there. Okay, so that gives us 4K. There's a couple settings that you want to make sure that you get, though. Um, the first one is render at maximum depth, so that looks the best. And then down here, when we scroll through here, we're going to look at the bitrate settings. And so what we want to do then is we want to take this and put this at a uh, variable bitrate 2 pass and our target bitrate going back to what we said was 45 um, and so that's what we want to try and get to now you can also do constant bitrate uh, it just it just really takes a really long time so you can try that one though uh, either one of those and you can kind of play around with whatever one works best for you then the only other setting you really need to hit is use this maximum at um, use maximum render quality other than that those are the uh, those are the settings that I'm getting, and uh, I've, I've had really good luck with it. All right, friends. Well, hopefully this video helps you kind of dial in your export settings for YouTube specifically. I've noticed that uh, since I've bumped up to 4K, I've just gotten a lot better quality looking videos on my YouTube channel. And so uh, hopefully it helps you. If this video has been good for you, make sure to like it. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. Uh, we're gonna keep doing these tutorials and, and tons of Canon EOS R footage. I'm probably gonna pick up some of those new cameras too. Other than that, hope you have a great week. We'll see you in the next video.